How's it going guys? Dalton Smith from MPI Productions and today we got a pretty quick video for you. We're going to go over removing or changing out the hand strap on your slide hand board. So this is the Bula. This is a little nugget board good for shore break waves but especially when you're going in shore break you're going to get sand all built up inside of these uh, different straps and layers of Velcro. So you want to wash them out, clean them out and then eventually if you don't clean in here you're going to get a lot of rust and corrosion. So we're going to show you how to do the whole thing, change it out and then you'll be able to take care of your board. So to get started, all we're going to need is our board and a screwdriver. Got a Phillips head screwdriver right here. And you'll see on the side of our hand strap, on both sides, we've got two screws. All we're going to do is pretty much unscrew these. It's going to loosen the strap off of the board. Start with the first screw right here. You'll probably want to be careful and do this outside because I've done this before and a huge mound of sand will dump out of here into your lap. But we should be good because we cleaned it out recently. Comes off, it's got a washer. Going to remove that side of the strap and under here is where all of our sand is going to start to build up. So we're going to want to wipe all that clean. Like I said, you want to get all up inside of here. We just cleaned it, but it can get compacted inside of this hole where the screw goes through. So you want to get all that out. Jump to the other side. You pull up this little piece of fabric. Shows you the screw. Loosen it up. got it out, your entire strap will come off of the board and make sure you don't lose that washer because that really keeps it secured through the strap. So you can get this flap pulled out a little bit right here and then blow through it. Make sure you don't have sand and all these pockets can just get filled with sand. So clear it all out. Now the Velcro, when you undo it, any sand should come out, but if it doesn't, get your hose and just blast that and clean it all out. You've got two different layers, so make sure you open it all the way up. You can pull this out, blow it out with the garden hose, and it'll be good to go. So if you have a board that came without a strap or you need to change it, you can do this, or if you need to clean it, you can do this. Or I've actually had situations where I need to take it off because of travel. I made it a little bit smaller, stuck it in my backpack, put this in the other pocket of the backpack, I didn't even need to put it in my check bag. So um, when you take it off, if you have any damage in here, you know, if your screw isn't holding on, contact slide, they'll help you figure it out. You don't want to be out there and have your strap break off and then you'll lose your entire setup. So once you've got your board completely wiped off, you can also blow out down inside of here. And it wouldn't hurt if you got a little bit of corrosion, just get a wire and you can just, you know, swirl it around, get all that crap knocked off, you should be good to go. So get your screws, same thing, make sure they're clean, no corrosion. You're gonna have the slide handboard's logo on the strap, and you want that so you can read it with the nose up. So we're gonna get one of the screws. I like to feed it through the handle first. It's a little tough doing it on the board. We're gonna do the other side as well. So when you're mounting, you'll notice that you have two sets of holes. These are basically different positioning for forward or back. If for whatever reason you feel like having it back on the board lets you pull the nose up a little more, go for it. If you need to feel like you're going more onto the nose and pushing down the line, move it to the top. But don't have it crooked like this. If it's cockeyed, it's really going to be uncomfortable and probably hurt your hand. So let's go ahead and do the top one. I think that's where we had it before. So we're going to line up the top on both sides. And we're going to get our screwdriver. Tighten these down. So when we're tightening, we're going to feel for it to get snug against the board. And it's super important not to over tighten because if it rips those threads out, I can imagine that being 
a difficult thing to fix on these boards. So be careful, make sure it's tight, but not overly tight. <clears throat> Jump over to the other side. Again, we're on the top, so we're gonna make sure we're lined up with that top screw hole. Crank it down. Make sure that you're clear of this foam lip as well. If that gets stuck underneath of there, like that. You might think that it's tight and it's not, and then your whole leash is gonna come off. So, here's a perfect example. This is cross-threaded right now. So I'm gonna have to back this entire thing out. And you can't just be like, oh, you know, that's fine, it's in enough, because when you're out in the water, you would not believe how hard the ocean is gonna pull your hand. So, I'm actually going to have to back this thing all the way out. Make sure we're straight on with this. don't over tighten. That was a perfect example. If it gives you trouble, back it out, clean it off, try it again. You know, you don't want to force it. That's what's going to mess it up. So that's a wrap on our hand strap removal video. I hope you guys found it informative. Be sure to comment, message us if you have any questions, and subscribe. we got a lot of new videos coming. We're going to be breaking down different tasks, doing things that are going to help you take care of your board, have more fun in the water, and maybe even a couple trick tips along the way. So hope you guys come back, and we'll see you next time.